Hey guys, I'm Mel, I'm Senior Style and Features Editor here at Pedestrian and I'm here with Youngblood. Hello! Also known as Dom. Hello. Just call me whatever, <laughs> call me whatever you want. I could be Clive if you really want. Okay, and I'm just gonna fuck his hair up a bit. Do it, man. <laughs> oh, go on, get in there, go on. Well, I'm a little bit terrified because it's kind of holding Oh yeah, as I say, like the amount of hairdressers. When did you last wash it? Um, I wash it like I wash it every three days. Don't okay. worry. Yeah, I'm, so you I haven't am, washed it since. Splendor. I am. Uh, no, I washed it after Splendor. Are you joking? Okay. <laughs> Splendor was like incredible. Like, I can't believe the crowd we got. It was insane, and I don't know, man. It was like one of my favorite festivals I've ever been to. It's like not sceny. Everyone's there for the music, man. Good vibes. Had you done an Australian festival before? No, never. Like this is like my first time coming to Australia and doing. Shows, oh, really? So it's like. But you've been here before. Yeah, I came here for like a bit of like press and stuff last year. Look one, Posh Spice, ah, fabulous. What's the worst hair you've ever had? Like the worst hairstyle? Probably, probably like 2000s, like 2006. Oh, the emo. Like. You can still do it. I feel like it's still kind of working. I hate my life. Are you like one of those English people that like doesn't drink coffee and you have tea in the morning? No, stuff? I do like a cup of coffee because it kind of centers me. But you can, the thing about a cup of tea is like you can just have it all day. Or you just like won the lottery. Let's have a cup of tea. Oh man, my dog just died. Let's have a cup of tea. This is a bit of a fuck boy look, to be honest. Yeah, I kind of feel like <laughs> kind of feel like an antelope you, right you now. Look... Like, yeah. <laughs> I was going for like a vanilla ice look, but I feel like what's actually eventuated is sort of the guy that doesn't call you back. <laughs> Damn, I said my wrist tripping. Ice. Go on, Cardi. <laughs> Look at me, everyone. Oh, isn't it the best feeling? I feel so like cool, this, oh. it's like proper like... Do it again. <laughs> you look like a James Bond character. <laughs> the thing is having no filter. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's a fucking great thing. Because you instantly know always where you stand with someone. I was always really opinionated. And I'd always had something to say growing up. You know what I mean? And a lot of people didn't like it. Especially people, people in positions of power or authority. They don't like being confronted, do they? Especially by someone younger than them. All my music's always about like, I want it to be an outlet for people who feel like they can't be themselves or can't say what they think or feel like they're expected to remain quiet because they're told to. It's like, nah man, just say what you think. Like, it's the best thing, because if you're undeniably yourself, that's just amazing because everyone is different. You know what I mean? No matter what, there's billions of us, but the incredible thing about human beings is we're all totally unique and it's sick. It's like a Bond villain henchman book. <laughs> Flat out, man. Am I ready for the ball, Cinderella? If you socks. needed, you know, it's that's like, more of a Kath and Kim look. In it, listen, Youngblood's going to the races. Flat yeah, you're out. matching your socks. Oh, mate, I, I, did you do that on purpose? Because I'm very <laughs> impressed. I'm very, very impressed. It's like, mm. yeah. Oh, don't you look pretty? <laughs> I've cool. been Youngblood. Here's my stupid hat. <laughs>